In this video, we are going to learn about what is Git all about and a little bit history behind Git and how we will be using this solution in our day-to-day -day life. So first of all, it is important to know that Git was developed by Linus Torvald. And Linus is the same person who has developed Linux kernel in 2005. And when he developed Linux kernel, uh, kernel is kind of like the heart of any Linux distribution. So Linus dev developed that and right now as well he's managing uh, that. And then utilizing this Linux kernel, uh, many other uh, institutions and organizations has created their own Linux versions like CentOS or Ubuntu. And initially they started with uh, Linux's uh, Linux kernel itself and uh, then build on top of that slowly. But uh, the important thing is that this same person has developed Git and why he developed Git initially was that whenever uh, he, the new version of Linux comes out, it was very hard for him to manage that. So to manage uh, all the dependencies and files uh, within this uh, distribution, he developed the Git. So what happens is, let's say you have, uh, you know, you have a Git, uh, you have a you know, Linux machine or Linux kernel. Okay. Uh, and there are, you know, let's say a couple of files in here. And this is 1.0. And uh, when you release the second versions, half of the file remains same, but let's say two files are getting changed. And this is 1.1 version now. So these two files, how you can push these files into the people's computer who has already installed version 1.0. So to solve these particular problems, he created Git, where using this tool, he was able to push these files uh, to people's computer or in another word we can say that people were able to pull the updated files f of Linux kernel to their computer from a centralized repository. We'll, we'll also see what a centralized repository is but before that uh, let's see that you know so this was the purpose of why Git was built and nowadays we are repurposing it for many other purposes many other you know features or day-to-day -day activities that we are performing and uh, the other thing is that there are certain, you know, comments that Linus has mentioned. So I'm just putting them in the slide. But more important thing is based on this protocol, there are certain companies who develop their software solution. So GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket, what they have created is a software solution which internally uses git only so whenever you working on git you install git onto your local machines okay and let's say two people are working so you have two local machines where git has been installed now to share the code you have to push that onto a centralized machine so these tools sort of provide you centralized machines which we also call uh, repositories and what happens is let's say you are again three people working in one team what you do is you create an account on github gitlab or bitbucket we call it your centralized repository you start taking pull or empty pull uh, onto your local machine so that you have git set up onto your local machine you perform the changes into your files you push this code back onto the centralized repository and once this code is available here the third person can again take a pull and this time he will receive the code what other two person had developed. So this way we are trying to you know share the code base now within our team. So this is one other purpose that we are using and these companies GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket primarily has created a software solution to provide this functionality. Whereas the overall scope of Git is quite bigger which we will also see as part of this code but we'll keep ourselves you know focused towards how we can work into a bigger team environment as well as how to utilize git where you don't lose your code base and uh, work in a distributed environment thank you